Hi guys, I want to hop on here really quick and share with you my analysis on Amazon. Uh, Amazon's uh, Q4 2020 earnings is this afternoon at uh, 4 p.m. Eastern Time, 1 p.m. Pacific Time after the market closes. Um, so I do want to share with you my thoughts and analysis. I'm very bullish on Amazon long term. Um, you could see that Amazon's currently having a really good bullish pattern, but it's not going to play out uh, within the next few hours. It's going to take weeks and months to play out. Um, so hang tight. Amazon is building a very strong base for the next leg up and let's find out what it is. Uh, but first, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Please consider subscribing. Um, I'm talking about investing at the moment, but I have had years of experience in um, earning money, saving money, investing money, and I want to share with you um, the various aspect of me earning, saving, investing, and managing my money. Um, so if you're interested, leave the comment down below and I'll, I'll definitely make those videos for you guys. Thank you very much. And uh, let So here's the weekly chart for Amazon. Um, right now you can see there's a giant weekly bull flag. Um, that I'm flagging here for you, the beige, orange looking line here, okay? And these are all the price targets. So don't get confused by all the lines yet. I'll go through them in a very short and sweet fashion later. Uh, but right now with the weekly bull flag, what it does is that uh, it has a bullish pattern that is primed to spike up. That's the purpose of the bull flag. With the first price target to be $3,950 and the second price target to be $4,551. Amazon right now is around $3,400 um, at the moment of this recording. So it is definitely a big stretch to go from $3,400 to $3,950 and $4,551. Um, I'm not suggesting that after earning or the day after earning, it will hit all of these targets or one of these targets. Uh, weekly bull flag takes a while to materialize because it's weekly. It's not minute by minute. It's not hour by hour. Um, it will take weeks um, to really play out the pattern. So as long as Amazon moves between 3,382, which is the upper end of the bull flag here, and $2,805, which is the lower end of the bull flag, um, we are still in good shape, okay? If you take a look at the daily chart right now, um, once again, I apologize, there's so many lines, but you can still see the general pattern there um, that it is on a consolidating pattern. Amazon been consolidating since July 16, all the way until now. And it moving, basically consolidation means it's moving in the same range for a long, long time. Um, another thing to notice is that the all time high of Amazon is 3,543. That is only about $143 from where we are today. Um, Amazon could easily gap up 50 to $100 if the earnings low out of expectation um, and then go up from there. But let's talk about earning analysis uh, real quick for, for this particular stock. So I'm gonna go to earning analysis here. So if you notice in past quarter, every time Amazon gap down or gaps up, it tends to try to fill the gap. Okay, for the most part, not every single quarter, but for the most part. Now, I'm, I'm not going to get into too detail here, but just see the pattern with me or hear me out here that every time Amazon gaps down, it tends to go up. Every time Amazon gaps up, it tends to go down. It might not successfully fill the gap, but it will attempt. Okay, um, so for traders you probably can play the gap but for long-term holders whatever direction it goes if tomorrow it opens 3300 3200 3600 we don't care um, the general pattern is still um, very bullish for amazon and we should recognize that um, once amazon surpassed its all-time high of 35 
$3,543. Um, we should see continuation all the way to $39.50. Um, Amazon can easily move $100 to $150 a day in about two or three of those days within a week. With the right momentum, the right volume, you can probably see it gets very close to $39.50. If you are a short-term holder, um, you could always sell around $3,900 to be conservative. But I don't recommend um, short-term holding Amazon. I've been um, an investor since Amazon was $385. Um, I've been buying Amazon ever since it was um, 385 all the way until 2000. I think I bought every time it hit the $100 mark. So um, 400, 500, 600, all the way to 2000. I kept buying the stock for a reason. Now Amazon is not probably not gonna move as um, excited as Tesla or some of the bio uh, or genomic stocks. Um, but it is definitely a keeper. It is business is financially sound. It has a good business model. It is well run. So I hope that uh, the technical analysis is helpful to you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, jot down your comment in the comment section and I will definitely reply to you. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumb up so I understand um, who is enjoying the video so I can continue making similar content for you guys. Thank you very much and uh, appreciate your time.